Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. We just went live without it telling me we were going live. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> like seriously, I don't know that we're really live. You guys, are we really live? So how do you know if you're really live or not? Well, normally I have this little thing that says... You're live. No, preview your stream. Like, check it. Make sure everything's cool. But today it just went, hello. <laughs> well, Miss Jones says, hey, happy new year. So I'm guessing All right, that so she can actually hear us. Are we here? Oh, Miss Jones said, you be live. Okay, then. It did it and I just went, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so are we live on Facebook as well? Uh, people on Facebook are saying hello. Yes, yes, yes. Cool beans, cool beans. All right. So today, what I thought we what I thought we would do <laughs> is we would put. Do you pictures. want to back up and start over? Because I mean, we're just tongue tied and <laughs> having just, a moment, aren't we? It's just kind of startled me. Happy Thursday, Happy New Year. It startled me. Um, what I want to do today is I want to put pictures in my Christmas album. Is everybody cool with that? The reason I want to is because so many times. We get going, and I end up not doing it, and I wanted to do it. And what I thought I would ask you guys, too, you can tell me in the comments. Or, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do like the big-time YouTubers, ready? Or by giving this video a thumbs up. <laughs> like, you can let me know if you would like to see Brenda put pictures in her album. Because I feel like what I could do is talk to Brenda. And if she's not traveling next Thursday, I might get Brenda to do her album, and I can moderate for her. Unless everybody would rather me just step out and you moderate for Brenda. No, 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 no. That's a good idea. You could do that. <laughs> well, I was just thinking that might be cool, and you could see Brenda um, do her, put her pictures in because she does hers way different from me. Um, she actually prints her pictures out and stuff. I mean, like goes and has them done. Here's my album. Let's do some picture cutting while we talk. We can talk and cut pictures. We can talk mm -hmm. and cut pictures. <laughs> Country song or name. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody up to? Oh, let me let me tell you what I'm doing first. Okay. <laughs> this would be the first picture. All them boys' hineys. Um, What I did, here's what I did. I took my pictures on my cell phone. That's where I always take my pictures. And then I load them to my computer. I just, um, should I just, hmm, okay. Let me see if I can show you how I load them to my computer. Is that fair? I suppose. Okay, I have so many things in here. Let me get to pictures. Okay, so these are my Christmas pictures. Let me tell this not to disturb so we don't get a phone call in the middle. All right, so these are my Christmas pictures on my iPhone. And what you do is you select, you go into your pictures and you select all the ones you want. Then I use this thing called AirDrop. If you guys have never used AirDrop, it's a game changer, okay? I use AirDrop and I send these pictures to whatever computer I'm near that's also on Wi-Fi that I want to send them to or phone or what have you. So I send them to my computer and I put them into my downloads. Okay, so that's what I do. I just load them to my downloads. So whatever way you load your pictures to your computer, just put them where you can find them. Then I open my what would be Word program, but in Microsoft or um, in Apple, it's called Pages. In Microsoft, it's called Word. And then I just put my pictures in there and I resize them to whatever size I want them to be myself and I just put them on um, a sheet and then I print them onto matte finished photo paper that's all I do I'm not extremely fancy about that do you know if um, airdrop is only an iOS thing it is now um, you'll be able to set it up where you can airdrop to any of your iOS devices do you see what picture I'm putting in my album I have the perfect spot for this picture oh you can't see what I'm doing anymore I can't see look me and Bubbly and Squeak. You and yeah, Bubbly somebody and Somebody said they loved that picture, so I was afraid it was over there. It's going to make it into the album. I have the perfect spot for it. So then what I do is I just run through and I cut them out. Now, one thing I do when I'm putting them onto my, um, onto my Word program, onto the document page, I try to lay them so that it's easy to cut. So I try to kind of nestle them against each other where everything kind of has a the same kind of line. And I even this time, and I never do this, okay? I never. I go... I went this time and had my album with me, so I looked at specific spots where I wanted pictures to be, and I measured the spots, and actually, like, I don't do that. You know Look me. at you. Yeah, I'm I don't like, do that. And I'm just like... Who are you, and what has the alien done with my wife? The word, I think my word this year is bougie. I think that's my new word. Do you know what that word means? Uh, no. You don't, don't want me to be bougie. Trust, trust me. You don't. You want me to be what I was. I don't know what, what it I sounds was. like, what it is, it's but I'm sure of, I don't want it's it. It's the opposite of my word last year, which was janky. 
I prefer janky. That's more our style. You know how people would do their one little word? My word was janky. <laughs> this year it's bougie. Listen, I'm not kidding. This year. So this morning I pull up at the Dollar Tree. Okay. And I'm in my. That's how every day needs to start. I pulled up at the Dollar Tree. And I'm in my red sports <coughs> car. Okay. And I am 46 years old. And I have on a sweater that has a dog with big glasses and rhinestones on it. <laughs> and I get out of my car and I contemplate my life for a moment. When I, do, I go, what have I become here? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I go, is this what I thought was going to be happening to me when I was 46 years old? I'm. Did in, you just tell the world? They know how old how I am. Old I are. do not care. So here's what I decided. Listen, that's when right then in there, I've been trying to think what's my 2019 going to be about. Here's what it's going to be about. If I like it. I'm doing it or having it or whatever. It, I don't need to be told by anybody else, oh, that shirt's too silly for you. N makes me happy. I'm wearing it. You know what I'm saying? I like that theory. I am. And I'm like, my. if I want to drive this car, it makes me happy. If I want to wear this shirt, it makes me happy. If I want to wear those sparkle tennis shoes, I'm doing it. <laughs> if, <laughs> if well, I, what about What about if you want to make it? You're going to make it. If I want to make it, I'm going to make it. Listen, here's the And we're going to film it too, aren't we? Yeah, I'll always film it. But listen, y'all. If if I... Okay, the sparkle... Okay. So when my mama was younger, as my mama was getting older, let me say it that way, I used to tease her all the time whenever she changed things. Like suddenly she started liking glittery things and I used to call her gaudy and blah, blah, blah. Well, that's just crazy. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done it. Let me tell you what I should have done. I should have said, one day I will be there. I'm doing it. Well, you know. If I like it, I'm wearing it. If I, I'm just not going to fall into any kind of, first off, I am my own person. Why am I preaching to y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do it. Do you think that's crazy? Well, no. I mean, I think we should, I mean, we can't forget about others, but I mean. Oh, no, no, you, I don't mean that. You. You want to no, no, no. do what makes you happy. Life's too short not to do what makes you happy. You know what I mean. So I have some new mentors in my life. Recent, you know, as of recent. Uh-huh. One of them being Brenda. Yeah. And Brenda's a very free spirit. And I love that about her. And I want to be more like that. Like when I see Brenda and the way she dresses and stuff, she's like, I like it. It doesn't, it didn't come off. It usually does come off some, you know, fashion magazine or something, but it's what she likes. And she's really been helping me to think that. And I want you guys to do that. I want y'all to think like that. If you, if you like it, if, if chartreuse and yellow is your favorite color and you want to wear them, wear them. Chartreuse and yellow would actually be okay together. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try to apply that to my life too. I'm serious about it. And we were talking about YouTube this year because, you know, people always make kind of goals and resolutions. I'm not a resolution maker. I fail enough to set myself up for failure. I am not a resolution maker. But I do talk, you know, I do like to set goals and stuff. So nobody, look, sounds like somebody's upset you. I'm not upset. Hey, I like what, where'd it go? Jackie Avant said, the choir needs to hear. Well, it just went away. That's really sad. The choir needs to hear things sometimes. It's true. You, know, you, you got to preach to the, the choir. choir. You got yeah. to sometimes. But the thing is, I just really like having this new mentor in my life that, that says to me, this is my life and I like it like this and judgment's not going to hurt me. I even, so we were talking about YouTube. I want to say that. I'm almost through. I got one more page to cut. We were talking about YouTube. Yeah. Nikki said, life is too short for fake butter, fake tans, and fake people. If I want a fake tan, though, <laughs> uh, don't judge me if I decide. I'm not big on tanning because it don't do nothing on my skin. But so in on the, in the YouTube front and this, I, I don't know. I've just come to this conclusion that here's the deal. If I want to make it, I'm going to make it. Like in the past, I've held myself back for different reasons, for things people have said or way things, things like YouTube, for example. YouTube tells you all the time, oh, if you want to be successful, you have to do this and blah, blah, blah. But that, that mold doesn't fit for me. My viewers are not that person. My viewers want to see what I'm making. You know what I'm saying? And so, I don't know. We talked about that. It, this is the year of, I'm not fitting any molds. The only mold I want to fit is Jesus. That's it. That's the only, if I, if he's happy with me and I want to wear stirrup pants and go high heels, 
Yeah. You just had a flashback, didn't you? I did. You? My grandma did. <laughs> if I want to do that, I just will. Look, John 10.10 10 said that the devil comes or the thief comes to steal, steal and to kill. kill and destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and life more abundant. That's right. So, have abundant life, bud. Anyway, why, why did I do that? Why did I say that? I don't know. It's just a funny day. When I when I got out of my car and I went, what, what did you become here, girl? <laughs> I was like, I'm good with this. And I strutted into the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I strutted. Strutted on up in the Dollar Tree. I strutted. Was it Dollar Tree or Dollar General? No, Dollar Tree. I actually went to Dollar Tree. You know why? Because somebody... <laughs> Listen, I hope they're watching too. Somebody asked me to make a paper purse out of poster board. Uh -huh. They wanted me to see how big we can make it. And actually I thought, mm, that won't do well on YouTube. That won't... You know, people won't want to see that, blah, blah. But I like the challenge of it. And I thought... It's my, this is the thing. I'm going to do it. I like the challenge. I'm going to try it. So I went there to buy a poster board. Have I and been sharing you was in there making it this morning. I am working to. on it. I'm excited. I hope it's going to be Saturday's video. I hope it is. Jesus made you do it. All right. So here, y'all remember this album? This is the one me and Brenda did. Remember, y'all, my kids are so funny, okay? Look at this. Let me show y'all. First off, they did tell me I was fired this year of buying pajamas. <laughs> Is that still really, really red? No, on my YouTube, it doesn't look so red. Um, they did tell me I was fired, but this year's theme for PJs was this little baby in the middle had a Santa outfit, like she was Santa baby, get it? And they are Santa baby's elves, so that's what they are dressed like. And then um, Granddad, Meemaw, Grams, and Pops, our shirts, you can kind of see them in the picture. Our shirts had Grams, El I mean, had Granddad elf, Meemaw elf, Grams and pops and then it had a little elf around it i thought it was so cute right so that is the picture y'all remember me telling you that i wanted to put our family picture right here do you remember that when we were making it because i thought this would be the perfect spot for it so i measured the spot and made this picture the size i wanted it to be so see how that'll fit right there i love that isn't that cute oh it is now linda wants to know where did you find that paper cutter oh lord girl it's one of my favorites this is my love of my life, the Cricut Trimmer. This dude, we carry them in the store, but I tell everybody don't buy them for me, but y'all still do. <laughs> I tell you all the time, don't, because they're cheaper on Cricut.com. I can't beat their prices. But this is the Cricut Trimmer, the portable trimmer. It's amazing. You owe it to yourself to get one. And if you catch them on sale and you use the code Melody Lane at checkout, you can usually get free shipping, and I think it's 10% off your purchase. And, and you can get them for like 7 or $8. Y'all, I knew this was going to happen to me. I left I left my pen out all holiday. Is the glue jacked up? I left my pen out while we left for holiday. Why did I do that? I might have to use a different... I hate to do this with my stopper topper. Don't do this. It's bad to do it with your stopper topper. Do it with your regular pen. Your pokey tool works good, too. Well, the pokey tool makes the hole too big. I don't like the hole to be that big. Hey, we got it. That wasn't too bad. All right, so I'm going to slide this down here. Stick it down. I like what Melinda said. Melinda said, we're not here to please anyone but God. Besides, we can't please everyone, and it's too exhausting to try. Y'all know it's so. I think I spent a lot of time last year trying to please. I'm so tired. I'm just so tired. You know what I'm really tired of? I love, I love my community, and I know my community. And then I caught myself looking at videos, and the first thing looking at were thumbs down. Like, not looking at views or thumbs up or comments, but looking at thumbs down. Why? What does that matter? What matters are the people who love the video and thumbs it up and want to talk about it. And so, I'm not doing that life this year. I'm not living that life. You guys, I have to show you this other picture that I cut for this spot. It is so cute. Oh, I don't remember actually cutting it now that... Was I just in a, a daze? I don't have it. Where's that one picture I wanted that was so cute? Oh, no. Did I leave a page somewhere? Because I cut a picture specific. Nope, there it is. Okay, you guys. Look at this baby girl. Linda, that glue, uh, you have to use just a little bit, but it only takes a little bit to use it. And if you use too much, it will make your paper wavery. But if you just use a little bit. Y'all know what I've down. discovered? You know what I've discovered? Oh, they do have AirDrop for Android. I just saw that. I wanted to say that. I have discovered 
that if you're not using a fine metal tip or something that comes to a very big point, you're going to get wavy paper. A lot of people, any, it seems like every time somebody asks me about it, I'll say, have you, are you using a fine metal tip? And nine times out of 10, they're not when it's waving their paper. Did y'all see this baby? No, nope. Vince, look at this baby. Baby, I can't see the baby. Look at this baby. She's precious. She's so precious. This picture was taken um, in a hotel on the way from Texas, on the way home. And it is the cutest picture. And Sam put it on social media. And it had something like, finally a break from mom and dad. She's got the remote in her hand. She's in her PJs with a little towel on her head. This is the cutest picture ever, okay? This picture is going to live right here. <laughs> I planned it that way. I think it is so cute. And I think what I'm going to do is journal on the flap above it. Uh, what it was from and maybe write what Sam wrote in her little um, post. I can't remember if she put it on Instagram. I don't remember where she put it. But how cute is that picture? I love it. Let me slide that into place. And then look, it'll be under there. I love it. I love it. So cute. The other picture I wanted to put in here, which I thought would be cute because it's a good size for it, <clears throat> is, hmm, yeah, this one. Mommy and Daddy with her. Isn't that a cute spot for that? I think it is. I'm going to round the edges. By the way, I'm rounding the edges. Forgot to tell you. Have I run anybody off with my rant? Why am I ranting? I don't know. And that's your corner chopper you use? Yes, sir. The We Are Memory Keeper corner chopper. And I like the half inch. I usually use the half inch. So what conversation is everybody having? Is anybody like feeling it this year? Like this is my year. Doing what I'm doing it. Everybody likes it. And everybody liked that comment, you know. They kept using your own saying, you do you. You do you, y'all. That's right. Um, I don't think I'm going to write anything here. I do have these tags. We may come back and stick some stuff there. But I want to put all the stuff I specifically had in mind in first. So here's some tags that come out of one of the pockets. And I cut my... St Let me show y'all. Let me get to it. I can't wait to show y'all where I'm putting this one. I love this picture. Um... <laughs> Kathy, the newlyweds are doing good. They're happy. They're through with their honeymooning. Now they're just living their lives. Living their lives. You want to tell them about Joe living his life last night? Y'all, I, I I worry about Joe sometimes. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. Yes, yesterday, last night, going to church, Joe came downstairs in a pair of khaki shorts with some black crew socks a sweatshirt and house shoes <laughs> to go to church. But now I'm not talking about, about look, now let me, shoes. let me clarify when I say house shoes, I'm talking about old man, tan house shoes, fur lined. I mean the works, but you have to tell now me. I will say from. they're extremely comfortable. How do you know they're comfortable? Because we bought, well, I'm an old man, first of all, <laughs> but, we bought these for Joe for Christmas because while visiting the hospital, a poor man in a wheelchair rolled by Joe. Rolled by Joe, and Joe said, "I want some of them shoes for Christmas." He said, he said "May May, I want some of those shoes he's wearing." And I said, "Joseph," he said, "He is living his best life, and I want those shoes." So I got it. I went on the search, and actually, Meemaw got them for him. I found them. I ordered them, and they were from Meemaw, not from us. And uh. He last okay. Here's what happened. They were too big for him. The pair we got him. That's right. So, so I, I got said, him. I said, Vince, I'm gonna either send these back and get him the right ones, or do you want them? And Vince is like, Let me try them on. Well, guess who now has that pair? I'm telling you, they're mighty comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. So yesterday was the first day he got to wear them, and he came in the living room and he was posing. He was like, Look at me, mama. Look at me. I mean, he was so excited, and he was like, Loretta, that's the best way I can describe it. Tacky tourist in Florida. Did. That was so Joseph. And last I gotta night. tell y'all, he was super excited about the fact that he had on calf height black socks. I should have taken a picture. Why did I not take a picture and post it? I don't it? know. It, it was something else. So on the way to church, Vince is going, I cannot believe you're gonna let him go to church looking like this. It was Wednesday night. They were playing games for the new year. I wasn't it wasn't anything big. And I was like, he's fine. And he said, he said to Vince, Uncle Vince, I am living my best life. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's hilarious. He's the oldest fourteen year old. He's the oldest fourteen year old man I've ever met in my he whole does, life. He does, and he'll say it. He said, "I'm just an old man in, in a young man's body." Of course, he complains about his body all the time. 
<laughs> talks about how everything hurts. And hey, what I just like did right there, the y'all. What I just did right there was um, those are our stockings this year, and they were so cute. I loved how they looked. So I took pictures of the stockings, and I thought they'd be cute on these tags and tucked in this little pocket. Are we giving TMI about our family? More than likely. It's all right. We do it all the time. All right, check this out. You now, ready? I will say this. Uh, who was it that said it? Where is it at? And these comments are just flying by. Somebody said, well, at least he was going to church. Well, he don't have a choice in our house. Yeah, Janice said it. At least he was going to church. He could be fighting attendance. Yeah, he could, but he'd lose. Because <laughs> if you live in our house, you go to church. You can't see what I'm doing. I can't because you moved me over here in the corner. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> That's classic. It's my favorite. It is my favorite. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like that, my tribe. Yep. Fran says people that thumbs down are not part of the tribe. We have a tribe. I like that. Guys, this was supposed to be a pocket, but this picture with bubble and squeak on his shoulder and I know I'm covering up those words. I'm not stressing. I just wanted this section with Bubble and Squeak and Vince right here. And then if I cannot I wanted... believe that Bubble and Squeak made the family Christmas babe, album. Babe, look at it. It's oh, you can't look at it. One second. Come on, it had to be there. Yeah. It was perfect. It had to be. Me and the little squirrels went round and round. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Everybody has to love that one. All right, remember this where we had the little pop up with the Chanta? Like this, I'm going to put pictures here and here. I'm going to kind of row, row them in. So I have a bunch of pictures cut. Let me see which ones fit best. And I cut these down to like one and a half by two or something like that. They're pretty small. That is a nice picture, Joke. Which picture? Joke the kitten said that was a nice picture, Vinny. <laughs> it's a cute picture. I'm not, gonna, I'm not lying about that. It's a cute picture. Those squirrels really make it, you know, right. I think what I'm going to do is leave this space for journaling. I like to have a spot to talk about some of the stuff. I got to make sure I say that I got fired from buying pajamas this year. Because we'll see if that happens next year. They always, like, they always think they're going to get pajamas, right? But I always say, you might not. It could change at any time. But they always know they're going to get pajamas. But then I, I'll even say, okay, so after we do pajamas, if you get pajamas, I'm not saying you're going to get pajamas. <laughs> I always say that. Yeah, if you do. If you get them. But this year, they were a little bit disappointing. Not so much about, I don't think so much about the outfit as the quality of the pants they had. They did not like the pants they had to wear. They were too thin for them. Do you agree? They were like, I don't like well, these pants, Mom. Well, I think Mom. it was uh, maybe a little too clingy. Yeah, they maybe didn't like the, the pants. Word we need well, to use, clingy. The thing is, I'll usually buy them like flannel pants or whatever, or fleece. But this year, they were knit, and they don't really wear knit. You know, so that's probably what got them. But girls like knit pants. It don't bother us. All right, so there's those put in. That was super easy. Well, thank you, Kathy. I'm glad you tried that corn chowder recipe or chicken corn chowder recipe. I'm glad it was good. Here's my waterfall. And what I did was I measured them, and I knew I needed 10 pictures. So my pictures are a little smaller. Like, look, this is Joe and his girlfriend. She's adorable. Look how cute they are. This, um, and the reason I'm including these pictures is because these were where we were at, um... We went to Callaway Gardens, and so that's what these were. So, should I start with, like, the oldest couple and work my way to the youngest couple? Because I have pictures of all of us. I guess that's up to you. Let's do that. So, that means me and you are on the front, dude. Mm. Me and you. Oh, I know who won the skin and cut. I'm going to be announcing Today's that. Today's the announcement for that, too, In right? the Crafter After Show, right? Isn't it in the Crafter After Show, Tamitha? It's not in this current show, right? There's J-Rod and Sam. His name's not J-Rod. His name's Jared. All of our family have lots of nicknames. Yep, yep, yep. J-Red. Sam is Swam. Thomas calls her Swam. I don't Marie, know Marie, we did get that cracker candy recipe. Thank you for sending it to us. This week on Vinny's Vittles, I'm going to take a bunch of different recipes and put them into one and created my own recipe. So There's the newlyweds. This week. That's the newlyweds before the wedding. All happy and excited. Here's Thomas and Jenna. So cute. This is the first year all our boys have had girls. It's been interesting. It's the first year I've bought four girl presents, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's weird. It's very different. 
but I, I've enjoyed it. And I love how big our family's getting. Do you, we haven't talked about that. You notice how big our family's getting? Real big. Oh yeah. I notice it every time we go eat. <laughs> <laughs> There's Joe and Hannah with an H. Bills and more bills. Are you ready for Monday, Mr. Vinny? Oh, the game. Oh yeah. I'll be ready. And look, it's going to be a, a good picture. game. I have a picture of me, mom, and granddad because they spent Christmas with us this year. So I have a picture of them. I don't have any of my parents. I was with them, but my mom avoids the camera like the plague. <laughs> she does not like the camera. Well, I don't know what it is. She just has a, when she tries to smile for it's the camera, just, it's just awful. She can't smile. She has for the a camera. beautiful smile, but when she tries to force it for a picture, if you turn a camera on, she's done. She just wigs out on you. <laughs> Somehow I didn't cut enough pictures for here. Maybe I can fit this one because I think it's funny. Yes, I can. Yep, I'm going to trim this one down. So this picture, <laughs> Thomas's girlfriend Jenna bought him this toboggan um, because he likes it. He likes to have a beard, but he goes to private school so he can't have a beard and long hair. <laughs> so she said this way, when you are at school, you can still have a beard and long hair. It's funny. I love it. I'm going to trim it down so it'll fit. Put that on there. I need to trim it a little more. Just give it a little haircut. And to the grandbaby, we are Grams and Pops. We have a song. You want to hear it? Mm. Grams and Pops. Grams and Pops. That's their names there. Grams and Pops. That's how we're trying to teach her the na our names. Yeah. I sing it to her constantly. Grams and Pops. I like Grams. It worked out really good. You could screenshot a picture of your mom. That's true. I probably could. I wonder if I'd find a decent one in there. Who knows? All right. I have a few more photos to add. Oh, I did want to add Bubble and Squeak, too. Mm, maybe not. Oh, here's a little picture. Let's put it here. Looks like I've got room for a couple more pictures. By the way, um, Brenda and I had talked about doing... Um, another May May Brenda album series, making wedding albums, making a wedding album like this for Josh and Taylor. Would y'all like for us to do that? Because I have a lot, and Brenda took a lot of pictures at the wedding too. So I have a lot of wedding pictures that we can use. <clears throat> and we were talking about using the same paper pack and her making an album for, um, Taylor's mom. And then us making an album, me making an album for Taylor. And I thought that would be a oh, cool thing. Be awesome. Would y'all like to... Would y'all like for us to do that as a week series like we've done in the past where we do like four days and we do it live? What y'all want? I think folks loved it last time y'all did it. Oh, I guess we could do it filmed, but somehow I didn't count enough pictures for this one. So I've got a spot. I'll fill that one in later. And I've got some other pictures I want to come back up here <clears throat> and see if I can add them in places. Like, let me see if one of these will fit. Oh, folks agree. Yeah, we enjoy doing that. Lots of yeses. Yes, please. That would be awesome, Margie said. Well, I'll talk to Brenda. I haven't talked to her um, in real life. I've talked to her on Messenger, but not in real life. I'm going to stick these back in here, too, so I can do some journaling on these tags, because there's lots of spots for journaling. And I have lots of little things that went on during Christmas that I want to write in there. And then, did I have another spot? I think I do have a spot here. I think I'll put a picture here and journal on the tag. Let's put this picture here. It's cute. So let's trim it. Sam's face is so funny in this one. Her and Taylor. So cute. Oh, that'll be cute there. Yep. And then I'm going to see if I have any more spots. I know I have the back cover. I may put one of these on the back because I have a pretty big picture of all of them together. I may put to the back. Did you use the uh, one and a half or the two inch rings on that? I use album? the two inch. I like the two inch. Brenda likes the smaller ones, but everybody has their preference. Oh, I can put a picture or two in this pocket. I'm going to stick Josh and Taylor in that pocket. And then I think over here, which I never put anything on the back. I glued something down to the back. I never put anything back here, but I think this would be cute back here. Just like that. So I used all the pictures I printed except the bubble and squeak picture, which I can put into a pocket. I think this will be cute right here. That's so cute. You guys, if FedEx ever arrives with our 
six boxes that are missing since, since mid-December. Y'all wonder why the store's out of everything? <laughs> We literally have had six boxes lost by FedEx since mid-December. If they, if it ever arrives and my new stamp set that you're all going to love that was supposed to be here in December, was supposed to be here the 19th of December. Yep. So y'all could have had it for January. So don't be mad at me. But when that comes in, I have a project I think you guys are going to love. And it's a photo album project. It's a, I, here's what, it's going to be a calendar turned photo album. I think you guys are going to like kind of the concept and that's coming as soon as I can get that stamp set to you. So that might be Tuesday when I can get that one done. I print mine on matte finish photo paper, although I do have a sprocket and I can use my sprocket, but sometimes it's just as easy. Like if I know specific sizes, like I was telling y'all, I really went through and kind of chose where I wanted pictures to be so I could get all the sizes just right. Then I'll just do this and the paper I use if you could see, this quality is really pretty. Can you see that picture? Mm -hmm. It's real good. And that's just my printer. And we just use a um, HP all-in-one printer. Um, yeah, it's, it's the uh, Hewlett Packard 8700. 8700, yeah. And that's we the one I at used. Walmart. It ain't nothing fancy. No, it's not. Actually, I'll tell you, we used to have the 8600, and we used it till it literally died. Like, we, we must have used it five years, you think? Yeah. So when we went to get another one, we just got the upgrade of what we had before. Yeah, the newer version, the 8600 is what we had for years. There's probably, there may be even newer than that. We just went to Walmart and found that one. But it works really well. And I just buy my matte finished photo paper on Amazon. And it's just, it's literally paper like cardstock, but it's matte finished. And I really love it. So that's what I use. And I think and, it's super uh, easy. Somebody asked about the newlyweds. Josh is 22. Is that right? Yes. 22. Taylor's 20. Yes. Look at this. Oh, I just love how this album turned out. You guys, we just we just sat here and chatted, cut the pictures up, blah, blah, blah. did all of this in 30 minutes. So now my Christmas album, except for this little, I do want to put some pictures here. My Christmas album's done. Deanne, the game that we'll be watching Monday is the national championship game in college football, which features the Clemson Tigers and the University of Alabama. That's the game we'll be watching Monday night. I'm missing stuff. Well, I was going journal in here, but my favorite pen's not here, and I refuse to journal without my favorite pen. Hmm. Where's my Illustrated Faith pen? Well, as far as I know, you're the only person that uses it. I know. It's down. It's my favorite writing pen. Let me look in this other component. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find it. Did I use it and not put it back? That's a possibility. That's, That's a possibility. That's probably more of a likelihood than a possibility. I don't see it anywhere. Okay, so when I find it, I'm going to write in here about being fired for the pajama buying. And then I'm going to come back up there and write on one of these tags about little bit in the hotel. I think that's hilarious. And then I'll probably come back in and write some more stuff on these little tags. But then this album's done, y'all. I had a picture of my girls. Um, Viola said I should have my three-legged babies. I had a picture of my girls, but they it wasn't a Christmas picture. I actually took it. This is so funny. When Vince is not home, they they don't sit on me. I don't like that whole... They, they're they like little heaters. Like, I don't know if you've ever had dogs or cats or whatever, but when they sit, they're like heaters, and I, I can't handle it. I sent you the picture. No, I got, but not a Christmas picture. The one of you giving them their prize? Well, I could put that one in there. That'll be good to put in that one, um, thing. But I was thinking about the one whenever you're not home and I'm at the dining room table or something. Like, I'll, I usually put my computer at the table or something. I'm not usually in the living room. They sit, like our carpet ends and the wood floor starts. They sit like cordwood <laughs> and stare at me wherever I'm at. And I have a picture of that, but it didn't look, it wasn't Christmassy. But I can put the one of them getting their treats. That would be cute. So yeah, there's we need my album. the fur babies in there. I'll put them in there. There's my album, and I will see if Brenda will do hers. I bet she would. What does that say? Idea for you, for your extra picture behind your Santa sleigh would be a cute surprise. I don't know what that, I'm, I'm missing that comment. It ain't, it ain't registering with me. I'm guessing that's an old Jack's cup that you just drank out of, based on that expression. Hey, am I supposed to tell the crafter in the crafter after show who the winner is, or that's in this correct. video? Okay, so somebody said it. I am proud I got my album done. You know what, Margie? So many times I forget to take pictures, and this year, Lord, I took a lot of pictures. I took a lot at the wedding because I was like, I'm gonna have pictures for albums, and I I had a lot of fun doing it. It was kind of like um, it was kind of like 
a scavenger hunt, like what pictures will go where. This was a lot of fun. Alice so. would like to join your chalk couture team. <gasps> Alice, we would love to have you. What you what I would suggest you do how to join. She is wants to know. Message Amanda at maymaymadeit.com or email Amanda at maymaymadeit.com and she will help you get that done. And it is the time, girl. Let me tell y'all something. If you have thought about um, Chalk Couture, and I know I love it. I can't help it. I love it. If you've thought about it, now's the time because this year they have, they're they um, like teasing us with all kinds of new things that are coming and new, just all kinds of stuff. So, uh, matter of fact, we're supposed to have a new transfer come out today that we're all kind of on cat on pins and needles for. So, um, email Amanda at maymaymadeit.com See, she had, uh, Risa has five cats and hot flashes, so I, I get not letting them sit on you. You lose the battle. I sometimes lose the battle, but I'll just tell y'all, they don't sit on me. If I fall asleep, I might wake up with one on my back or something. <laughs> like if I take a nap. Yeah, if you go to sleep, I have a whole, I try to keep them off of you. They'll get up on me, but though. If they can sneak over there when I'm not looking, they'll get up there and lay on your back while you're sleeping. They like to do that. Um, Tina, it's not in Canada yet, but... That's another one of those things that, um, one, well, not as an insider, but as a chalk couture designer, you get to be a part of a lot of different Facebook groups and a lot of kind of, you get kind of insider information. And I haven't heard from chalk couture anything about it, but there has been a lot of discussion. So I think that they see that people are really wanting that to happen. So I feel like that's, that's going to happen for Canada. I feel like it, so... All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to head to the Crafter After Show so that if people just want to watch this, they don't have to watch a long, long show. And in the Crafter After Show, we can talk about whatever we want to talk about. So, And you gonna... can talk about because uh, somebody's asking what is Chalk Couture. So um, maybe you could tell them about it in the Crafter After Show. I would love to. Maybe I can show y'all something. Maybe Amanda could hook us up with something and we could show it. Mm. Amanda, if you want to hook us up, I would love to show Chalk Couture. It's Oh, it's my love. Um, so we're going to head to the Crafter After Show. Tamitha just um, put the link the for link. the Crafter After Show. So I'm going to um, turn this one off and head over to that one. And we will see you guys in the Crafter After Show. Love you guys. Bye now. Bye.